बिस्मिल्लाम असलम वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लान सोन इन दिस चैनल यू विल फाइंड एवरी वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द प्लान एंड देयर डाइवर्सिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई नीड योर स्पोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर फीडबैक्स और कमेंट्स योर लाइक्स एंड योर सब्सक्रिप्शन so today's topic of my video is about introduction and classification system of the arthur john cronquist the famous botanist i hope that you will enjoy this video so let's start the video first of all i will discuss about introduction to the arthur cronquist Arthur John Cronquist was born on the March 19 in 1919 and he died on the March 22 in 1992. He was an American biologist, botanist and a specialist on the Compositae. He is considered the one of the most influential botanists of the 20th century largely due to his formulation of the Cronquist system. as well as being the primary co-author to the flora of the Pacific Northwest still the most up to date flora for three northwest US states to date two plant genera in the asta family have been named in his honor so these are cronquistia a possible synonym of the carfoquit and Cronquistianthus, Cronquistianthus, which is sometimes included as a group within the Eupatorium or Eupatorium. The former was applied by R. M. King and the latter by him, and the Herald E. Robinson. So he was born on the March 19 in 1919 in San Jose, California, and he died on the March 22 in 1992, age 73. In Provo, Utah, nationality American, alma mater, Idaho State University. Utah State University and the University of the Minnesota He was known for the Cronquist system and the awards are Linnean Medal in 1986 and the Lydie Award in 1970 Scientific career includes the fields like the botany and institutions are New York Botanical Garden So this is the Arthur John Cronquist as shown into the figure. So this is the San Jose officially San Jose is a major city in the US state of California that is the cultural financial and political center of the Silicon Valley and the largest city in the North California according to its population and area as shown in the figure so this is the Provo is the fourth largest city in the Utah in United States It is 43 miles 69 kilometers south of the Salt Lake City along the Wusatch front as shown in the figure. So this is the Utah is a state in the Mountain West subregion of the Western United States as shown in the figure. So this is Idaho State University ISU is a public research university in the Pocatello Idaho 
founded in 1901 as the Academy of the Idaho, ISU offers more than 280 programs at its main campus and at locations in the Meridian, Idaho Falls and Twin Falls as shown in the figure. So this is the Utah State University is a public land grant research university in the Logan, Utah. It is eradicated by the Northwest Commission on the Colleges and Universities as shown in the figure. So this is the University of Minnesota. Twin Cities is a public land grant research university in the Twin Cities of the Minneapolis and the St. Paul, Minnesota as shown in the figure. So this is the Linnean Medal of the Linnean Society of London was established in 1888 and is awarded annually to alternately a botanist or a zoologist or to one of the each in the same field. So this is the New York Botanical Garden NYBG is a botanical garden at the Bronx Park in the Bronx New York City as shown in the figure. So next I am going to discuss about his life. So Arthur Cronquist was born on the March 19 in 1919 in the San Jose California but he grew up outside of the Portland, Oregon as well as in the Pocatello, Idaho. His parents divorced when he was young and he and his older sister were brought up by his mother who worked for the Union Pacific Railroad in Pocatello. The young boy was Anne. A weight member of the Boy Scouts of America through which he is gained an appreciation for the outdoors. He did his undergraduate work at the Southern Branch of the University of Idaho, now Idaho State University. So during his time there he studied the field botany under the Ray J. Davis who was compiling the flora of Idaho at the time. After receiving his bachelor's degree in 1938 in biology, he went on to earn a master's degree in biology at Utah State University in 1940 working under the Bassett McGuire. In the same year, he married Mabel all right, who he remained with until his death. They had two children and a fondness for cats. Due to a childhood accident, Cronquist's right arm was partially disabled, making him unfit for military service in the World War II. Instead, he began work on his doctorate at the University of the Minnesota. Under the CO, Rosenthal, earning his Ph.D. in Botany in 1944. His dissertation was a revision of the genus Arigeron. So, in 1943, while still working on his doctorate, he was offered a position at the New York Botanical Garden to work on the Asteraceae for the New Britain and brown illustrated flora than in the preparation by the Henry Gleason. From 1946 to 1948, he held a position at the University of Georgia, followed by a three-year position at Washington State University. Before returning to the New York Botanical Garden, where he would spend the rest of his career, he worked as a botanist in the 
Brussels with the U.S. Foreign Aid Program from 1951 to 52. A death of heart failure on March 22nd in 1992 while studying the specimens of the Mencilia at the Herbarium at Brigham Young University. So next time I'm going to discuss about his work. First, I will discuss about the development of the Cronquist system. When the Cronquist was in his mid-30s, he began to question the usefulness of the Adolf Angler and Carl Prantl's taxonomic system laid down in their work. D. Naturalicon, Flans and Fembillion, the natural plant families which had been the dominant system since the late 19th century. Although Cronquist was originally involved mostly with the family Asteraceae, rather than with the general systems, he began publishing on the topic in 1957 after much discussion with his peers concerning the challenge of deforming a new taxonomic system. His initial publication, Cronquist 1957, dealt purely with the Tycotyletans. So at the time he began his work on his general scheme of classification, several others were working with the same goal in mind, including the American Robert Athron, the Dane, Rolf, Dalbrun, and the Almon Tactogen of the USSR. Each of them would go on to produce their own taxonomic schemes, though Cronquist would prove to be the most widely adopted. While working on the project in the 1960s, the Cronquist came to be close friends with the Almond Tactogen, and both men pulled all of their information, put all of their information at one another's disposal. To this end, Cronquist decided to learn Russian in order to have access to the scientific literature that the Soviet Union had accumulated, which was largely unknown to the rest of the world. He made several trips to the USSR to meet with the Tactician and the other Soviet botanists and translated many botanical works from the Russian throughout his life. So the Cronquist's first overview of classification was published in 1960, which is followed by his The Evolution and Classification of Flowering Plants in 1968, with a revised and expanded second edition being released in 1988. This work also was a survey of the practices of the systematic botany. In 1981, he published his landmark work, an integrated system of classification of flowering plants. The work divided the flowering plants into two classes with a number of subclasses and down to the family level with the age taxon being described and defined. The system would go on to be adopted by the several major projects in the floristics, including the Jackson Manual in 1993, the flora of the North America, flora of China, flora of Australia, and of course, the Gleason and Cronquist Manual of the Vascular Plants, which was published in 1991. So, Professor Cronquist was also a passionate and dedicated teacher who mentored countless students. He was a role model for what he meant, what it meant to be a plant biologist and taxonomist. Among those who knew him, his baritown voice among the herbarium stacks will continue to chill the soul and warm the heart. So next time I'm going to discuss about the list of selected publications. Arthur Cronquist is probably the best remembered for his work dealing with the Cronquist system, which was developed in these and other works. So the first is the Cronquist Arthur, 1957, the outline of a new system of families and orders of the Tycotyledons, Bull, Jad, Bot, Etat, Brox,
27, 13 to 40. So the next is the Cronquist author, October 1960, The Deviants and Classes of the Plants, The Botanical Review, 26, 4, 425 to 482. And the next is the Cronquist author, September 1965, The Status of the Triangle System of Classification of Flowering Plants, Annals of the Missouri. Botanical Garden, 52, Volume 3, 281 to 303. And the next is Cronquist Order, Tectogen, Armin and Zimmerman, Walter, in April 1966, on the higher of Embryo Bionta, PDF Texan, 15th, Volume 4, 129 to 134. And the next is the Cronquist Arthur 1981, An Integrated System of Classification of Flowering Plants, New York, Columbia University Press. Next is Cronquist Arthur 1968, The Evolution and Classification of Flowering Plants. So the first edition, London, London Nelson. So the next is the Cronquist Arthur 1988 and 1968. The Evolution and Classification of Flowering Plants, Second Edition, Bronx, New York, USA, New York Botanical Garden. Next, I am going to discuss about the Standard Author Abbreviation. So, the Standard Author Abbreviation, Cronquist, is used to indicate this person as the author when citing a botanical name. Next, I am going to discuss about the Cronquist system. The Cronquist system is a taxonomic classification system of flowering plants. It was developed by the author Cronquist in a series of the monographs and texts, including the evolution and classification of flowering plants, 1968, second edition, 1988, and an integrated system of classification of flowering plants in 1981. The Cronquist system places the flowering plants into two broad classes, which is Magnoliopsida, also known as dicotyledons, and the next is Liliopsida, which includes the monocotyledons. Within these classes, related orders are grouped into subclasses. While the scheme was widely used in either the original form or in adopted variants, many botanists now use the angiosperm phylogeny group classification for the orders and families of flowering plants first developed in 1998. The system as laid out in Cronquist an integrated system of classification of flowering plants 1981 counts 64 orders and 321 families in class Magnoliopsida and 19 orders and 65 families in class Liliopsida. Next, I am going to discuss about the evolution and classification of flowering plants, 1968 monocots. Class Liliati, which is also known as Monocotyledonae. Subclass is Alismatidae, includes four orders. Order Alismati. Alisma tailies. And next order is Hydrocaryteles. Next is order Nagerdales. And next order is Tree Uridales. Next subclass is Comelanidae or Comelanidae, which includes the eight orders. Next order is Comelanidales. Next order is Aerocoleales. Order Restioneals, Order Gencales, Order Cyperales, Order Typhales, and the Order Bromeliales. Next order is Zingibrales, and the next subclass is Aracidae, which includes four orders, which are The first order is Aricales, second order is Cyclantales, third order is Pandanales, fourth order is Aerales, and the subclass is 
Lily Di or Lily D, which includes two orders and which are the order Lilialis, which includes the family Philidraceae, Pontidariaceae, and the family Liliaceae, which also includes the Aliaceae, Alistromariaceae, Ephilanthaceae, Amaryllidaceae, Asparagaceae, Colchicaceae, and Hypoxidaceae. Melanthiaceae and the Petermaniaceae, Philaceaceae, Riscaceae, and Triliaceae. And the next family is Aridaceae or Aridaceae. Next is family Agaviaceae, family Xanthoriaceae. Family Valusiaceae, Family Hemodoraceae, which is also known as Tacophiliaceae or Tacophiliaceae, and next is the family Tacaceae. And next is the family Sinistraceae, and the next family is Timonaceae, which is also known as Rosebergiaceae. And the next family is Mylocaceae. Next family is Dioscoriaceae, which is also known as Tenomaridaceae, and Trichopodaceae. Next order is Orchideos and it includes the families. The first family is Geosridaceae. Next family is Bermaniaceae, which includes Tismiaceae. Next family is Garciaceae. Next family is Orchidaceae, which includes the Apostasiaceae. Next, I am going to discuss about an integrated system of classification of flowering plants in 1981. So, the class Magnoliopsida, uh, which includes the Dicotyledons, is divided into many subclasses. So, the first subclass is Magnoli, Magnolitae, mostly basal dicots, and it includes the order Magnoliales. And it includes the Wintraceae, Degeneraceae, Hymantendraceae, Eupomatiaceae, and the next is the Ostrobelli, Ostrobelliales, Ostrobelliales or Ostrobelliaceae and the next is Magnoliaceae which includes the Magnolia family next is Lactoridaceae and next is Ananaceae Myristicaceae and Canalaceae and the next order is the Laurels and it includes the Emporialaceae, Trimaniaceae, Monemiaceae, Gomortigaceae, Calanthaceae, Idiospermaceae, and Lauraceae, which includes the Laurel family. And the next is Harnendiaceae or Harnendiaceae. Next order or the third order is Piperales and it includes the Chlorantaceae, Sororaceae, Piperaceae, which includes the Pepa family. And the fourth order is Aristochiales and it includes the Aristolochiaceae. And the fifth order is the Elysiales and it includes the Elysiaceae and the next is the
Shits and Racii are Skis and Racii and the sixth order is the Nymphialis and it includes the Nelumboniaceae which includes the lotus family and the next is the Nymphiaceae which includes the water lily family and the third is the Barclayaceae and the fourth is Columbaceae. Next is the Ceratophilaceae. So the seventh order is Ranunculales and it includes the Ranunculaceae which is buttercup family Next is the Sarsiestraceae, next is Berberidaceae, next is Sargentodoxaceae, and next is Lardizabalaceae. So the next is Minispermaceae, and Coriariaceae, and Sabiaceae. So the eighth order is the Papaverales which includes the Papaveraceae, which is poppy family, and next is the Fumariaceae. So the second subclass is the Hamamilidae. Uh, say correctly, Hamamilidae. So it includes the first order, which is Trochodendrales, and it includes the Tetracentraceae, or Tetracentraceae. Next is the Trochodendraceae and the second order is the Hamamilididaeus which includes the Circidiophilaceae and the next is Eupatiliaceae and the third is the Plantinaceae. Fourth is the Hamamilidaceae and Myrothymnaceae. The third order is Daphnephilaeus, which includes the Daphnephilaceae. And the next order is Didymalaeus. And Didymalaeus includes the Didymalaceae. Next order, fifth order is the Eucomiaeus. And this Eucomiaeus includes the Eucomiaceae. And the sixth order is Orticales, which includes the Barbiaceae, next is Almaceae, and the third is Cannabisaceae, which includes the Cannabis family, next is the Moraceae, which includes the Mulberry family, and the fifth is the Cecropiaceae. So, the so sixth is the Urticaceae, and the seventh order is the Leibnariales, and which includes the Leibnariaceae, and the eighth order is the Juglandales, which includes the Roeptaliaceae, and the next is the Juglandaceae, and the ninth order is the Maricales, which includes the Maricaceae, and the tenth. Tenth of the order is the order Figales, which includes the Balanopaceae, and the next is the Tecodendraceae, Figaceae, and Notophagaceae, and the fifth is Bachelaceae. And the next order is the order Casuarinales, and which includes the Casuarinaceae. Third subclass is the Caryophyllidae, and this includes the order Caryophyllales. Caryophyllales, and it includes the Phytolicaceae, next is Achatocarpaceae, and next is Nictaginaceae. Next is Isoaceae, Didi, Ari, Aceae. And next is Cactaceae, which includes the cactus family. And the next is the Chenopodiaceae or Chenopodiaceae. Next is Amaranthaceae, Pochulacaceae, and Basilaceae. And the next is the Mologinaceae, Caryophyllaceae. 
and the next order is the polygonales and which includes the polygonaceae third order is plum vaginales plum vaginales and it includes the plum vaginaceae and the fourth subclass is delenitae and it includes the order delaniales delaniales and it includes the delaniaceae and peoniaceae next order is tls and which includes the ochnaceae and spheroforaceae and next is the sarcolinaceae and the next is the diptrocarpaceae and karyocaraceae next is thaceae which is T family and the next is actinidaceae which is kiwi family and the next is the cytopetalaceae next is penta philacaceae and the tenth one is tetrameristaceae so the next is the phalliceraceae and onco onco TKCI and the next is Martraviaceae, Queenie, Queenaceae, Alatinaceae, Paracryphaceae, Medusagnaceae, and Closiaceae. So the third order is Malvilles and it includes the Eleocarpaceae. Teriaceae, Sterculiaceae, Bombacaceae, and Malvaceae, which includes the Mallow family. Next fourth order is the Lycetidaeus, and it includes the Lycetidaceae. Fifth order is the Napanthales, and it includes the Saraceniaceae, Nepenthaceae and Rosaraceae. So the sixth order is the Violales and it includes the Flacortiaceae. Next is the Paradiscaceae, Bixaceae, Cystaceae, Hoaceae and Lysistematiaceae and the next is the Cyphostagiaceae. Cyphostagiaceae and the next is the Stachyuraceae and ninth is the Violaceae which is the violet family and the tenth is the Tamaricaceae which is the Tamar Tamarix family and the next is the Frankeniaceae next is the Deoncophilaceae Deoncophilaceae and the next is Ancestrocladeaceae, Ancestrocladeaceae, and next is Turneraceae. So the fifteenth is the Manasherbiaceae, next is the Passifloraceae, which includes the passion flower family, and the seventeenth is the Acariaceae, Caricaceae which is the papaya family. Next is Fuchiariaceae and Hoplestigmataceae. Next is Cucabataceae, which is the squash family. And the next is the Dectascaceae and Bagoniaceae. And next is the Loazaceae. Next is the seventh order, which is the Salicales and which includes the Salicaceae. Eighth order is the Caparales, which includes Tuvariaceae and the Caparaceae. And the next is the Brassicaceae or Brassicaceae, which is the mustard family. And the next is the Moringaceae. And the next is the Racidaceae. So the next order, ninth order, is Betales, Betales, which includes the Gyrostemonaceae and Betaceae. So the next order, tenth order, is the 
Aricales, which includes the Cyri, Laceae, Clethraceae, Clethraceae, Grubiaceae, Empitraceae, Apocridaceae, and the Aricaceae. So the next is the Pyrolaceae and Monotropaceae. Eleventh order is the Diapensiales, and it includes Diapensiaceae. Twelfth order is the Abonales, which includes the Sapotaceae and Abonaceae. So the next is the Styracaceae and Lysocarpaceae and Simplocaceae. So the thirteenth order is Premiol, Premiol. Premolales and this Premolales includes the Theophrastaceae and Myrcinaceae and the next is Premolaceae which is the Premola family. So the fifth subclass is the Rosidae which includes the order Rosia Rosales. Rosales includes the Bromeliaceae, Conaraceae, Eucrephiaceae, Canonaceae, Canoniaceae, and the Davidsoniaceae. And the next is the Dialepatlantaceae, Petosporaceae, Bibliaceae, and Hydrangeaceae. Columeliaceae, Grossolariaceae, and Grayaceae. Next is the Bruniaceae, Anisophiliaceae, Anisophiliaceae, Alice Euismeaceae, Crassulaceae, Cephalotaceae. Sexifragaceae, Rosaceae, which includes the rose family. Rosaceae, which includes the rose family. So next is the Noradaceae, Crossosomataceae, Carisobalanaceae, Saurianaceae, and Rhabdodendraceae. So the second order is Fabales. It includes the Mimosaceae, which includes the Mimosa family. And the next is the Caesalpaneaceae. And the third is the Fabaceae, which includes the Legume or Pea family. The third order is Proteales. And it includes the Alignaceae and Proteaceae. Fourth order is Podostimales which includes Podostimaceae and the next is the order. Fifth order is Halorageales which includes Halorageaceae and Gunaraceae. Sixth order is Myrtales and it includes the Sonaraceae and Lytraceae and the next is Paniaceae. And the next is the Cryptaroniaceae, Thymliaceae, and Tropiaceae. And the next is Mutaceae, which includes the Mutil family. And the next is the Ponicaceae. And next is Onagraceae and Oliniaceae. Next is the Malistomitaceae and Combritaceae, Azatiaceae, Mimicillaceae, Wrinklecalicaceae, and the seventh order is Rhizophorales, which includes the Rhizophoraceae, and the next is the order Corneals, which includes the Elangiaceae and Nisaceae 
and next is Cornaceae and the fourth is Garyaceae. Ninth order is the Santa Santaleos in which includes the Medocendraceae, Dipentodontaceae, Olacaceae, Opaliaceae, Santalaceae, Mesodendraceae, Laurentaceae and Viscaceae. And the next is Arimolepidaceae, Blanophoraceae and the next order which is the 10th order is Raphleos which includes the Hydnoraceae, Mitrasimonaceae and Raphlesiaceae which includes the Raphlesia family and the 11th order is Celestrales which includes the Gysolomataceae, Celestraceae and Hippocritiaceae, Stackhouseaceae, Salvadoraceae, Ecbifoliaceae, Acachinaceae, And the next is the Extosicaceae. Next is Cardiopteri Deceae, Corinocarpaceae, Bishopatalaceae, Tipoano, Tipoano Lintaceae. Tipo Annotaceae and the twelfth order is the U4B alleys and it includes the Baxaceae which is a box family. Next is the Simon Zaceae, Pandaceae and U4Baceae. Thirteenth order is Rimnales which includes the Remnaceae and Liaceae and Vitaceae which is a grape family. So next is the order 14th which is Linales and it includes the Erythroxylaceae and the next is Homeriaceae, Exonantaceae, Ogoniaceae and Linaceae. So the 15th order is Polygaleos which includes the Malphigaceae, which is the ACI, Trigoni ACI, Tremendraceae, Polygalaceae, and Xanthophiliaceae, and Cromeriaceae. And the 16th order is Sapindales, which includes the Staphyliaceae, Melianthaceae, Barichnidraceae. Acaniaceae and Sepindaceae and Hypocastanaceae. Hypocastanaceae. And next is Aceraceae, Bursaraceae, Anacardiaceae, which is the Cashew family. Next is Julianaceae, Cimarobiaceae, and Canioraceae and Meliaceae and the next is Rutaceae which is the citrus family and Zygophilaceae and Geraniales. Next order is Geraniales which is 17th order and it includes Oxalidaceae, Geraniaceae, Limnantaceae and Tropiolaceae. And the next is Balsaminaceae, 18th order is the Apios. It includes the Aureliaceae and Apiaceae, which is carrot family, and the sixth is the subclass Asteroidae, and it includes the first order, which is the Gentianales, and it includes the Loganiaceae, Redsiaceae, and Gentianaceae, and Sachifoliaceae, Eposanaceae, and Asclepiadaceae.
and the next order a uh, second order is the solenalis which includes the dacyodendraceae and nolenaceae and solenaceae which is a nightshade tomato family convolvulaceae cascataceae manianthaceae polymoniaceae and hydrophilaceae and red CACI. So the third order is Lamiales or Lamiales, which includes the Lanoaceae, Boraginaceae, Warbinaceae, and Lima Aceae, which is the mint family. And the fourth order is the Calitric Hills, which includes the Hipporidaceae, Calitricaceae, Hydrostachyaceae. And the next order is the Plantagenials, which includes the Plantagenaceae, and the sixth order is Scrophularias, Scrophularials, and Scrophulariales includes the Bedelgaceae, and the next is the Oleaceae, which is the olive family. Next is Scrophularaceae, Globularaceae, Myoporaceae. Orobinkaceae, Gasneriaceae, and Acanthaceae. And the next is the Padaliaceae, Bignoniaceae, Mendociaceae, Lentibulariaceae. And the seventh order is Campanulales, which includes the Pentaphragmataceae. And the next is the Siphani. Siphoniclaceae. Next is Campan. Next is the Campanulaceae, which is a bell flower family. Next is Talidaceae, Donaceae, Brunoniaceae, Gudeniaceae, Ruby, and the next order is Ruby Alis which is the 8th order. It includes the Rubyaceae, which is coffee family. And the next is the Telagonaceae. And the ninth order is the Dipsacales, which includes the Caprifoliaceae, Adoxaceae, Valerianaceae, and Dipsacaceae. Tenth order is the Calicerales, and it includes the Calicerasei. And the eleventh order is Asterales, and it includes Asteraceae, which is a sunflower family. And the next is the class Liliopsida, which includes the monocotyledons. It includes first subclass Alismatidae, which includes the order Alismatales. And it includes Butomaceae, Limnocharitaceae, Alismati. Alismataceae and the second order is Hydrocaritales which includes Hydrocaritaceae. Third order is Nagerdales which includes the Aponogetonaceae, Shuxariaceae. Next is the Gincaginaceae, Potamo, Getonaceae, Rupiaceae, Najadaceae, Zanishlaceae, Posidoniaceae, and Simodociaceae. Next is Zostraceae, and the fourth order is Triuridales, which includes the Patrocemiaceae, Triuridaceae. Second subclass is Aracidae, which includes the first order Aricales, and includes Aracaceae, Aracaceae. Aracaceae is a plum family. Second order is the Cyclanthales, which includes Cyclanthaceae. And the third order, order is the Pandanales, which includes the Pandanaceae and Pandan family. Fourth order is Arales, which includes Echoraceae and Araceae and Limnaceae. And the subclass 3 is the Comalinidae, which includes the orders Comalinales, and which includes the Rapataceae, Zyridaceae, Mayocaceae, Comalinaceae, 
and the next second order is areocolis which includes areocolisii and restionales is the third order which includes the flagellariaceae jonvalaceae restionaceae and centralepidaceae and the next fourth order is genkeles which includes the genkesiae thorniaceae fifth order is cyperales which includes cyperaceae Poaceae, which is a grass family, and the sixth order is the high date talonies. High date talonies, and it includes the high date, high date talaceae. High date talaceae. Seventh order is typhus, which includes Pargeniaceae and Typhaceae, and the um, fourth subclass is. Zingi Bridi, which includes the order Bromeliales and it includes Bromeliaceae. Second order is the Zingi Boreos and it includes the Streetlight Ciaceae, Haliconiaceae, Myozaceae, Loaceae, Zingi Boraceae or Zingi Boraceae, which is a ginger family and costaceae and the next is canaceae marantaceae and the fifth subclass is Liliadi, which includes the order Lilialis, and it includes philidoraceae pontideraceae hemodoraceae sinistraceae and liliaceae which is lily family iridaceae which is iris family velosiaceae Aloeaceae, which is a law family, and next is Agoaceae and Zentoriaceae. Next is Hanguanaceae and Tecaceae. Next is Timonaceae and Smilocaceae, Dioscoriaceae. So the second order is Orchideals, which includes the Geociaridaceae and Barmaniaceae, Corsiaceae and the last is Orchidaceae which is the orchid family. Next I am going to discuss about the Cronquist system of classification. So Arthur uh, Cronquist was the senior curator of the New York Botanical Garden and a gent professor of Columbia University. He presented an elaborate interpretation of his concept of classification in the evolution and classification of flowering plants 1968. The further edition of his classification was published in an integrated system of classification of flowering plants in 1981. The latest review was published in the second edition in 1988 in the evolution and classification of flowering plants. He discussed a wide range of characteristics important to the phylogenetic system. He also provided the synoptic keys to design to bring the taxa in an appropriate alignment. He also presented his classification in the charts to show the relationship of the orders within the various subclasses. His system is more or less parallel to the tectogen system but differs in details. He considered that the tridosperms, for example the seed ferns as probable ancestors of the angiosperm. Next I am going to discuss about the principles of classification. So the first principle is the earliest angiosperms were shrubs rather than trees. Second, the simple leaf is primitive than compound leaf. Third. Reticulate venation is primitive than parallel venation. Fourth, parasitic stomata is primitive than the older types or, or other types. Fifth, slender elongated long tracheids with the numerous clariform pits are primitive. Further specialization leads to the shorter broad vessels with the somewhat thinner walls and transverse end walls with a few larger perforations. Later on, the perforation becomes a single and large. Sixth, long and slender save elements with a very oblique end walls where the save areas scattered along with the longitudinal wall with the groups of the minute pores are primitive. 
whereas the flowing with the short safe tube elements where the end walls having the single transverse safe plate with the large openings is a drived condition. So the seventh the area and activity of cambium and also the length of the fusiform initial is more a primitive form which gradually becomes reduced in advanced one. Eight, the plants with the large or terminal floors are primitive, those may arranged in the monocacia or monocacia or dicacia or dicacia and the other type of the inflorescence have been derived from these types. Or plants with the vascular bundles arranged in a ring are primitive rather than catted vascular bundle as found in monocots. And the next is flowers with many large free and spirally arranged petals in any linear and spirally arranged stamens and free carpels as found in the Magnoliaceae are primitive and other types got evolved through the gradual reduction, aggregation, elaboration and the differentiation of floral members. 11th, plants with the unisexual flowers are evolved from the bisexual floral and sisters. 12th, the large and indefinite number of floral members are primitive than the small and definite numbers and andrisium with many stamens is primitive than the reduced number. Linear stamens with the embedded pollen cesses as found in some magnolian genera are considered more primitive than the others. So the uniaperturate pollen grains are considered as primitive than the tree aperturate type are derived from it. Sixteenth, insect pollinated plants are considered as primitive from which the wind pollinated plants got evolved. Seventeenth, the gynoecium or gynoecium comprising of many carpels arranged spirally on a more or less elongated receptacle is considered as primitive. So the further evolution leads to the reduction of the number of carpels which are arranged in a single roll and then undergo further fusion. Eighteenth, axial placentation is primitive from which the other types have been evolved. 19th, anatropous ovule is primitive from which the other types have been evolved. 20. The ovule with the two integuments, the first is the bitegmic is primitive, either by fusion or abortion. Unitegmic condition has been evolved. 21st, embryo sac with the eight nuclei like the polygon type is primitive from which the embryo sac with four nuclei like the enothera type has been derived through the reduction. 22nd, monocotyledons have been developed from dicotyledons through abortion of one of the cotyledons. 23rd, the follicle fruit is considered as primitive, so the further dry and dehiscent fruit is the more primitive than fleshy and indehiscent fruit. According to him, the many of the evolutionary trends bear little apparent relation to the survival value and that there are some the there are some reversals. In 1981, he divided the division Magnoliopheta or angiosperms into two classes, which are Magnoliopseta, which includes dicotyledons, and Liliopseta, which includes monocotyledons. He divided the Magnoliopseta in six subclasses and 55 orders, of which Magnoliales or Magnoliales is a primitive, and the Asterales is the advanced taxa. On the other hand, the class Liliopsida has been divided into four subclasses and 18 orders of which the Alismatales is the primitive and Orchideales is the advanced taxa. The class Magnoliopsida consists of 291 families and Liliopsida with the 61 families. So this is the Cronquist classification outline. Other John Cronquist Cronquist classification outline includes first division is Magnoliopeta, which is divided into two classes. The first class is Magnoliopsida dicot. It includes the subclasses. So the first is the Magnolidae, includes the eight orders, 39 families, and 11,000 species. 
Second is the Hama Mili D. It includes the 11 order, 23 families, 34,000 species. Third is Caryophyllid D, which includes 3 orders, 14 families, and 11,000 species. Fourth is Dalanidae, which includes 18 orders, 74 families, and 24,000 species. Next is Rosidae, which includes 18 order, 113 family, and 60,000 species. Next is Asteroidae, which includes 10 orders, 48 families, and 56,000 species. So the second class Liliopsida is further divided into the subclasses. So the first is the Alismatidae, which includes 4 orders, 15 families, and 500 species. Second is the Aracidae, which includes 4 orders, 6 families, and 6,400 species. Third is the Comimelanidae. Comimelanidae, which includes 6 orders, 16 families, and 16,200 species. Next is the Zingibridae, which includes 2 order, 3 family, and 2,800 species. Next is the Liliadi, which includes two orders, 19 families, and 28,000 species. So, primitive family, Magnoliaceae, advanced family is Asteracea. Primitive family in the class Liliopsida is the Alismataceae, and advanced family is Liliaceae. In total, which is according to the Mumtaz, madam, class 2 subclasses are 11, 6 plus 5. Orders are 81, families are 380, genus is unknown, and the species are about 2 lakh and 20,000, as shown in the figure. Next, I am going to discuss about merits and demerits of Cronquist classification system. So, first, I will discuss the merits. There is a general agreement of Cronquist system with that of other contemporary systems like Tectogen, Dalbrand, and Tron. Da and detailed information on anatomy, ultrastructure, phytochemistry, and chromosome morphology was presented in the revision of the classification of in the 1981 and 1988. The system is highly phylogenetic. Nomenclature is in accordance with the ICDN. The family Asteraceae in the Dicotyledons and the Orchidaceae. In the monocotyledons are generally regarded as advanced and the high and rightly placed towards the end of the respective groups. The relationships of different groups have been described with diagrams which provide the valuable information on relative advancement and size of the various subclasses. The family Wintraceae, vessel less wood, presents similar to the tridosperms placed at the beginning of dicotyledons is favored by many authors. The subclass Magnolitae is considered as the most primitive group of dicotyledons. The placement of dicotyledons before monocotyledons finds the general agreements with the modern authors. So, as the text is in English, the system has been readily adopted in different books. Next, I am going to discuss about the demerits. Though highly phylogenetic and popular in USA, this system is not very useful for identification and adoption in herbaria since indented keys for the genera are not provided. And the next is the Dalgren 1983-1989 and Thorn 1980-1983, treated angiosperms in the rank of a class and not that of a division. Superorder as a rank above order has not been recognized here though it is present in other contemporary classifications like Tectogen, Thorn, and Dalgren. The subclass, the subclass Asteroidae represents a loose assemblage of several diverse sympathless families. And next is Aaron Dorfer, 1983, pointed out that the subclass Hamamilidae doesn't represent an ancient side of branch of the subclass Magnolidae but it is a remnant of a transition from Magnolidae to the Dalinidae, Rosidae and the Asteroidae. There is a difference in opinion with the other authors regarding the systematic position of some orders like the Typhales, Aerials and Eurotikales, etc. So, 
This is the probable relationship among the subclasses of Magnolia Obsida. Dicots and sizes of balloons are proportional to the number of species under each subclass. This is the Cronquist system 1988. So the first balloon represents the Asteroidae, second is Delanidae or Dalanidae, next is Caryophyllidae, and next is the Magnolidae, and the next is Hamomelidae, and next is the Rosidae as shown in the figure. So this is probable relationship among subclasses of Liliopsida which includes monocots. So the sizes of balloons are proportional to number of the species under each subclass. This is the Conquest system 1988. So first is the Liliadi, second is the Zingibridae, third is Comelanidae, Fourth is Aracidae and the fifth is the Alismatidae as shown in the figure. So this is the Arthur John Cronquist. Arthur Cronquist time period was 1919 to 1992 as shown in the figure. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well for further notifications and updates. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for your time and appreciation. Yeah.